So I really, really, really love the brand of Minerals. It's all vegan and cruelty free and like it's all natural, like there's nothing harmful or chemically, like nothing like that, like it's all natural kind of stuff. Um, so I thought I would get her this because I didn't really have to get her an inch sasto or anything like skincare wise, you don't have, like do you have my cream? And she was like, oh no I don't actually. Um, and this was a few weeks ago now so I'm hoping that she's forgotten that she said that, so that will be kind of a surprise. Um, but yeah, I've used this eye cream before, like a test of it, and I've also used um, the serum and the moisturiser in the same range, and they've always been really, really great for my skin. So um, I'm not gonna open it. I'm not probably gonna open anything because obviously it's gifts, um, and I need to wrap them. And I'll show you the wrapping paper at the end and some of the cards I've got as well. Um, as I'm filming this, it is Tuesday the 21st. Um, so Christmas is in four days. And I finished my Christmas shopping today, uh, which is exciting. So I don't have to stress anymore, I just need to make sure that they all get wrapped. So let's move on to the other gift that I got for my mum. And I got my sister one of these. I was actually kind of at the end of my Christmas shopping and I was walking home and there's this really cute home shop on the way back to my house and I just could not resist like popping in so I went in and um, I'd really got my mum and my sister a gift but I just thought like you know what I'll get them something else and the, the lady did wrap this but she actually wrapped them together so I'm going to have to unwrap this anyway and that means I can show you. So this is This is the one I got for my mum. It's just a little bowl, right? And it's like a heart shaped bowl. And it has this gorgeous um, gold rim as well. And I just thought it was really cute. Um, she often, like on a Friday or Saturday night, if she's staying in, will have like peanuts or crisps or something. I just thought it was like quite a nice little bowl to put things in. Um, I don't know, I just liked it. So, we don't have many nice bowls either for things like that. And then I just got my sister the same thing, but it is a lighter blue. So, this is the one that I got for my sister. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, this one is darker than this one. Um, and they were was really good considering like how cute 
cute they are and like unique. I really, really love this pattern, I guess you would call it. So yeah, that's what I got, just a little extra for them. Um, because I'd ended up spending more on like some of like my brother and stuff and I thought well I'll just get them something little to sort of add on. Um, and I was even thinking that I could put the eye cream bicycle. I was thinking when I wrap it, I could maybe wrap it. Oh, it kind of doesn't fit, so maybe not. I'll have to wrap them separately. But I'll just tell them to open them at the same time because it's the same thing. Um, so hopefully for Christmas my sister had asked for a highlighter and as I was on Bare Minerals website anyway for my mum I thought I would get her one of theirs so I got her the highlighter what shade is it? it's their Endless Glow highlighter um, it's in the shade Free which is like a golden shade I haven't been able to open it and I don't want to try because I don't want to ruin it um, but yeah I'm excited about this there was a Black Friday sale when I ordered these um, everything on their website, so that's why I went ahead and got it then. So I was quite organised with these gifts um, in comparison to some of the other people that I bought before. Um, but yeah, it's just a powder highlighter. That's kind of good. There's not a lot to say about this. It is what it is. But I'm hoping that she likes it. Moving on to my dad. So um, I always struggle every year to buy something for my dad because he's just like he already has. I would normally get him socks, but he's got so many now. Um, so I really like reading and he usually does go to the library. So he doesn't really have that many books because he just prefers to learn them and then give them back. But I thought I would get him a book for more sets. So I picked up this one. It's like a crime thriller, I think. It's called I Am Pilgrim by Terry Hayes. Oh my god, I just love the smell of books. I need to start reading again. I'm really bad. I always read in summer and then in winter. I just never read. Um, I'm going to read you the blurb of this book for fun. A young woman murdered in a rundown Manhattan hotel. Her father publicly beheaded in the blistering sun of Saudi Arabia. A man's eyes stolen from his living body as he leaves a se secret Syrian research laboratory. Smoldering human remains on a mountainside in the Hindu Kush plot to commit an appalling crime against humanity. One thread that binds them all. One man to take the journey. Pilgrim. And it says this on the front, the only thriller you need to read this year by The Guardian. And I trust The Guardian, so, you know, I just thought it's quite big as well, it's quite meaty. Um, so yeah. And then I also thought this was really funny. It's not very Christmassy. So I've got a a Grinch um, bookmark and on the back it says maybe Christmas doesn't come from a store maybe Christmas perhaps means a little bit more so that's quite a nice quote that comes from uh, the other Grinch but it's also magnetic and I just thought yeah like it's got a little magnet here it just looks funny because he's a grown man and I bought him a Grinch bookmark but like you know no, I think his head does bend, but again, I'm not going to bend it because I don't want to ruin it. So I think you can like bend his head over the page, so you know definitely where you are. So hopefully you'll find that as funny as I did. Next up we've got my brother, and he's not quite easy just because he'll just like send me a link to something and be like, please have this. So he wanted this Thermos water bottle, um, so it keeps things hot and cool, um, like dishwasher safe. BPA three, BPA three, not three. Uh, and it's it's nice, it's big. This is in relation to my head. If that helps. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then you just like slide it open and drink there, and then you can just push it back in. Um, so yeah, I mean, not the most exciting present in the world, but it's definitely, definitely a really practical one. And I think, but sometimes practical gifts are the best because at least you know you're gonna use it. At least I know this bottle is not going to waste. And it makes nice sounds as well. It's not as metal either as you would think. But yeah, that's it. Pretty simple one there. So next up, I've got my little sister's mum. So I have a little half-sister and we have different mums. 
and she always buys me like birthday and Christmas presents so I always get her them as well um, so I got her this body cleanser from Shampneys and they like body cleanser, body lotion it's always a bit like oh like you don't know if it's a good gift or not but this, oh my god, this one smells so good oh my god, it smells expensive and it kind of was, it was on like the higher price end of boots oh, that was so good and I got my little sister to smell and she said that it's definitely something that she'll like um, and it's meant to be awakening so it's meant to be a good um, shower gel to use like in the morning to wake up um, it's not tested on animals it's vegan all them good things because I know like not everyone in my family is vegan or anything um, she is actually a vegetarian anyway but um, I don't feel comfortable like buying people like for example I was looking for a birthday present by granny and I was looking at like the nice jumpers and socks but a lot of them are made of cashmere and wool and stuff and I just I'm like well I don't know where that's come from and I don't want to pay for that even though it's going to someone else so I love it when and there's a little vegan sign on it um it makes me feel a lot better so yeah that's that and then I also got her um some eye like gel masks um I, I love an eye gel mask a full face mask I like too, but sometimes it's a bit much. But like just putting one under your eye makes you feel so much more awake and just nice. Um so she gets five pairs in this. Um yeah, it's pretty pretty simple. Um I don't know what range this was. Because like the different colours meant different things. The treatments, I don't know if that's the range. But yeah, I really like this. And I believe it will smell nice once I've not smelled them. Um, and hopefully it will feel nice on this skin as well. And then I got my granny something from the same brand uh, in boots because I was with my mum and she was like, yeah, just get that. Like, she's quite hard to find for. So I got her uh, some hand cream. Um, it's, it's just hand cream, you know. It smells nice. We smelled a little one of it. It smells really nice. Again, vegan and all that. And it's quite a big one. Quite with a bigger size. And it's something again that she will actually use. Um, like she will just keep it in her bag or at home, whatever. If her hands get dry, especially in winter, you know we need that moisture on our hands. Um, hopefully she'll appreciate that. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm gift giving is so hard sometimes. I'm like questioning a hand cream, and I'm like, no, it's fine, Eve. It's just hand cream. She's gonna like it. Like, and then lastly, I have my sister. So my sister is younger than me. She's um, how many years? Ten, eleven years younger than me. So she's like quite a lot younger. Um, but I bought her pickup sticks because um, I love pickup sticks. I don't know if everyone knows what it is. Like to be fair, my dad didn't even know. But it's basically. It's kind of like a plunk, but without the structure. You like put all the sticks in the pile, and then you have to remove them uh, without touching the other sticks, or like is it without making them fall over or something. I don't know, but it's really fun. And I'm gonna bring these to her on Christmas Day, and make her force her to buy a big sticks with me. And I mean, it was three pounds, so I just thought it's just a nice little gift. Um, and then for her actual present. I am taking her to the theatre. Um, there's a musical on uh, in January. Uh, it's a school of rock musical, so they're going on their UK tour. So I booked two tickets to see School of Rock. Um, we're going on a Friday night as well because I've got the night of work. And she will have finished school for the week, so she won't be you know super tired the next day. I'm going to take her out for dinner before, and then we're going to go and see the musical. And then just come home but um i thought that was a really good idea i thought about it today because i was looking for things for her and i was thinking oh can i take it to something and i was googling i was like oh my god school of rocks on tour like, that's actually perfect because it's like family friendly children friendly but also she'll enjoy it like it'll be good i am a bit scared about it being cancelled because uh, the uk is like oh at the moment uh, we might be going into lockdown but they, they haven't said that, but you, but 
it just seems like what is going to happen some sort of restrictions and the first things that will go is things like theatres because um, it's obviously a large amount of people inside so I did pay like five pounds extra to get insurance for both of tickets for like unforeseen circumstances like it's like bad weather um if if we had to isolate but like say the performance was still going ahead but we're isolating because of covid we would be able to move the day or get our money back and then um local restrictions like say our area was locked down and we couldn't go out but the area where the theater was was still open we would be able to get um like move the day um and i think that's good because I mean, at first I wasn't going to get it because I was like, that's really annoying, like, you should just give that to me for free. And then I was like, you know, it's five pounds. I would be absolutely gutted if, if we couldn't go and then I didn't have a Christmas present for her because I didn't pay for this five pound insurance, so I just brought it. Um, so, hopefully she'll be fine. And it, say it does get cancelled, I'll just book something else for, like, later in the year. And if we have to wait a bit, it's fine because it seems like that is happening with a lot of things. Yeah, that is all the Christmas presents I have for, like, this year. I don't have that many. How many people is that? Like, six, six seven, to be fair, six or seven is quite a lot. Um, but I know some people have, like, absolutely huge families and they have to buy so many gifts. So let me know if that's you. Let me know how big your family is, what you're doing to celebrate. Like, when do you give your gifts? We always get up, have breakfast first, and then do gifts. And now that we're all a bit older, we do kind of sleep in till like nine, sometimes even ten, um, and then have breakfast and stuff. A bit of box space for breakfast, and then go and have um, some open some presents. And that's always very, very lovely. So thank you so, so much for watching this video, and I will see you really, really, really soon in my next one. Okay, bye bye.